Lean Law's legal billing software is designed to make it easy for you to prepare and send your bills to your clients on a regular basis. Today, we're going to be going through the draft invoice process so that you can most effectively build a draft and get the right information on your invoice. As you can see, we're in our billing tab in Lean Law and we're in the draft sections of the billing workflow. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a matter. And what that does is that pops open our draft editor. Now what that shows you is some information about, about the matter itself. So who's the responsible attorney, who's the originator, if you have a reviewer, who's the reviewer. What the invoice total is, if they have any balances in QuickBooks, um, who the client in the matter is specifically. And then we've got the ability to add an invoice number, invoice date, etc. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got the right bill to address. And you can see I've got a couple of typos in there. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that so we have the right information there. Perfect. That looks great. Um, and then I've got this memo field um, and I can go in and if I wanted to add a note to the memo, this will show in the bottom left, um, I can I can add something that says, thank you for your business, for instance. Um, I can also add, if I wanted to include matter totals, some summarization, if I wanted to include custom fields, um, I can also go in and do that. And you can see that the information automatically configures as I do so. I'm gonna go in and put the matter totals there. I'm gonna apply that change. And now you can see I've got this updated view of the memo. Then we can go into the individual sections here and make sure that we have the right information in each of those. You can see I've got this group by services and fees. That's related to my invoice setup. Um, if I wanted to remove a whole section in and of itself, I could go ahead and hit save section for later. I'm going to do that here with the fees. We'll save that for later. And you can see that comes off the draft of the invoice. I can also, you know, if I wanted to make some of these time entries non-billable, I could go in and make that change. If I wanted to, let's say I wanted to write down a particular entry down to zero, I can go ahead and do that. You can see that that instantly updates. Uh, if I wanted to even remove that, I could also save it for later and that will remove it from the invoice. Then if I realize something was on the wrong matter, I can also go ahead and change the matter and you'll see that this will pop up, a pop up where I can select the client, the matter, and I can save for later. You also, if you realize you've forgotten something, you can go in and create a new time entry and you can go ahead and add that in. And so let's say conversation with opposing counsel. Um, I can go in and add that time entry. And then you'll see we've added that on to the invoice itself. That all makes it very easy to make sure you've got the right information and to make any changes when you're in this draft state before you get to the point where you've already submitted something to QuickBooks and you're having to undo the information in QuickBooks. I can also go into um, the individual items on the invoice and I can edit the description. I can change the user. I can change, let's say, you know, let's say the date was actually the 14th. We can go ahead and do that. Um, I can make adjustments to the rate or the amount, and I can write down probably most importantly, if, you know, I didn't want to bill the client for all of the time that I had here, and I wanted to write down an amount, let's do that. you'll see automatically that the hours billed goes down to two and the amount changes dynamically with the rate. So I can go ahead, I can either remove this if I decide I don't want to do that, or I can apply and that will make edits there. You also see all of the options at the top. I can also do individually for each line item as well. Then what we can do, I can, I can save this draft. 
I can, and it'll stay as a draft, I can approve and move on to the next workflow. Um, I can print. So if I wanted to have somebody be able to review with pen and paper, I could go ahead and print. Um, or I can undo the draft and send the information all back to ready to build. All of this information is available in our draft editor. This is a standard part of Lean Law's legal billing process and allows you to make sure you get the right information on your invoice from the start, as well as gives you the flexibility of handling changes that happen over time. Thank you for joining us. I hope this is useful and I hope you find this helpful in seeing how easy it is to create invoices that your clients will love from Lima.